Hey everyone, how's it doing? Hope you're all having a good day. So yeah, GJ, trying to push up the start of the week. I think that this is just possibly the wick up to continue heading down. I'm not, I'm not bought just yet, especially looking at this daily candle right now. It came right up into this resistance and rejected. So as you can see here, we have this resistance here that I'm talking about. We couldn't break through it, so we rejected. We've also closed below previous support, right? That was broken back in September, early September, or mid-September, I should say. And basically now, I'm still believing the fact that this is just, we've created a low here on the high timeframes. And now what's bound to happen is we're waiting for some sort of support to form to then retest that low. So for me, I'm looking on the four hour and I'm seeing that the four hours right at a resistance. So I'm not gonna take any buys here, but we wanna keep it open to both sides. So I'll walk you through my sales buys first because that's the, the favored one. And then we can have a look at, see what we can look for with buys. Okay, for sales, I'm looking for basic sales below 135, 280 to then go all the way down to 134, 430. Uh, that's about an 85 pip range. Yep, about an 85 pip range. Clean candles to the left, can't complain. I think that this move up also was made due to some, well, half of this move was made due to see um, the pound not using negative interest rates to, you know, they're not gonna use negative interest rates, but that's nothing concrete. So I expect, well, actually that move that happened was corrected. So now it's a matter of, okay, are we gonna break through the daily resistance or are we gonna respect it? So for me, all right, we've got actually back to this. It also looks like there could be a nice little sell opportunity below 135.510, but I gotta, you gotta be wary about that, right? So that's around a 20 pip range. It's a great range to trade in. However, the only thing I'm not liking is that this previous four hour was bullish. So for me, I'd wanna see, I'd probably be looking for buys until it breaks this support at 135.300. I definitely think that that's the safer sell. Uh, you leave yourself open to fake outs when you're trying to trade within this. But if you can see that the high time frame is breaking that date, that high time frame support, it's very likely that it's not gonna be a buy. That's gonna be a sell. Now let's have a look for, for buys. Okay, so obviously, like I said here, we're at this daily, the daily resistance. Okay, yeah, you just gotta be super, super careful when you're looking for these sorts of trades into resistance. I think to be safe, I'm gonna actually cut all this out. There's gonna be no trade for me there. Yeah, I honestly think that the safer, the safer buys are gonna be above 136, 350. Yeah, we gotta clear, we gotta clear this traffic. Cause no real point. And even if it, okay, if you're a bit of a riskier, riskier trader, I think maybe buys above 135.780 to then come up to 136 flat. That's not a bad range, that's 20 pips. You just gotta be in, keep in mind that, you know, it could reject at any time, but that's a pretty good range. And then eventually maybe you can let a runner run to this resistance. But basically once we hit above 136, yeah, there's just a lot of traffic to the left that you gotta be careful of. And the ranges are only like 10, 11 pips, um, if you have a look left. So yeah, to be safe, above 136, 400 for buys and for sales below 135, 280. That's the safest of the safest sales and buys buys. Um, obviously you can take trades in between this range, but just be very careful that um, you know what you're doing. The reason why I'm looking for sale, well, you could look for sales below this level here, 135, 500 is because as you can see here, we're creating uh, high lows, right? I'll just point out right here, high lows, whoops. And basically once that high low structure is broken, it's safe to say that we're gonna come down. And as you can see, we've got very, very clean candles to the left. So that's, that's pretty good. So let's head over to gold now. All right, so gold, I've just quickly done a quick draw up of the daily resistance. So now what's happening is that we've, we've closed above this daily resistance, um, we do have some potential, oh, I've got to get rid of that. 
we could get caught up at around here. I'm just looking at these daily candles to the left, but also using um, the previous supports. Okay, good. So probably what I'm expecting now is for gold to maybe come down, create a support here at 1873 to then continue heading up to fill this range. Obviously, we've got a bit of a bit of a stalemate here at the moment, but it looks like it's pretty clean traffic to the left. So as long as um, 1873 support holds, we should be heading to at least 1892. And then from there, we've got uh, 1900 and then 1910, 1912. So that's pretty good. Now let's have a look at silver. Silver looks exactly the same, closed above previous support and previous resistance. Now it looks like we're gonna create the same sort of support here at 23.42 to then continue heading up to at least 24.40. And then from there, 25, and then eventually we'll probably correct the whole move. Uh, that's definitely my longer term bias. And for sales, oh, I actually forgot to say sales for gold. Um, probably for sales, I'll be looking for sales below. Yeah, sales below 23.24. And for gold, I'll be looking for sales below, yeah, what I said, 18.73. Sales below 18.73 to correct this move to 18.52. And yes, that would be very good. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoyed that video and I'll catch you on the New York session. Take care and trade safe.